Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So I have another Kenwood TL922A in for repair. I already had the 10 meter modification done to it. Uh, customer who sent this in has another one that I did for him not too long ago and he loved it and he wanted a spare. Uh, it's happened before. It's also my favorite amp. People love these amps. I would take this amp over any other commercially made amp that's on the market so I'll go over everything that needs to be done it's getting a brand new set of Pentalab tubes awesome company great customer service so check the two air variable capacitors one for the plate one for the load they both look good it has aftermarket parasitic suppressor so I'll wind new ones for it it has those hoop ones I do not like those I'll have the series glitch resistor, meter protection diode, I checked the plate current meter, that's good. So, everything else looks good up here. I'll flip it over and I'll show you the bottom. Be right back. Okay, so here's the bottom. Whoever did the 10 meter mod didn't use the right caps for the input circuit, so I'll put the right mica type in. Proper value. Band switch looks good. I'll do the strap mod. Around the grids the right way. One of the chokes was damaged and looks like they soldered a lead to the burnt open or open winding. These come out anyway. I'll do the self bias modification. I'll clean the relay back here with Deoxic Gold. TR relay, Deoxic Gold. The uh, input and output rotary switches, Deoxic Gold. I'm going to remove this fuse. It's, it is not needed. Once I do the self bias mod, I also change the electrolytic cap, the Zener needs to be replaced. They added another diode in here, so I'm going to get rid of that. Put it back to how it should be. Um, so I'll do everything else I normally do, and I'll be back when it's all completed. So I checked the SO239s. They are good. And uh, that's about it for now. So please like, share, and subscribe, and I will be back. I'll see you soon. Okay, so I'm back with the completed TL922A. It's not the other one. Um, I showed a while back. I'm still waiting on filter caps for that from Harbach. It was closed down for the holidays, so he just shipped those on Saturday, so I'll have them soon. So, customer wanted to see this working on 40 meters. I've got the radio set to 61 watts, 2500 watt slug. I'll show you the inside after. Hello, hello, hello. Meters on PEP. Audio, hello. Shh, 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 shh. Hello, 1200 right there. 1200. Audio, hello, 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 hello. RF output. Audio, hello, 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 hello. Audio, hello. Works as it should. So. All right, so I'll crack it open and I'll show you the inside. I'll be back. Okay, so here's the inside. Well, new parasitic assemblies. You see there, 350 ohm resistors in parallel. I have like over a thousand of these. I know it's overkill, but why not? You know, so series glitch resistor, meter protection diode. Zip tied the wiring over here, added the strap over here. I'll flip it over and I'll show you the bottom. Also zip tied this wiring. So, see you soon. Okay, so here's the bottom. I changed the electrolytic cap. Got rid of that fuse. It's not needed. Connected the primary connection right to the transformer. Changed the Zener diode. Placed the diode over here. Added a new connector over here. Clean the relay back here. Did the self bias modification, grounded all the grids. Replaced those caps with the proper ones for the 10 meter mod. Clean the relay over here with deoxy gold. Clean the input rotary switch with deoxy gold. The output rotary switch slash band switch with deoxy gold. Out of the strap over here, tightened up on screws and touched up on some other solder joints. So, this thing is all set. So if you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. My phone number is 203-892-4119. And the website's ampreparegout.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. I have another 922 coming up. 
shortly. So I work on a lot of these. I love working on these. So thanks for watching and have a great day. 73.